Welcome back to another episode of 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm going to teach you how to increase your render speed in Apple's compressor by utilizing the multiple cores inside your processors by setting up a virtual cluster for your computer. So right now I have Final Cut Pro open and I have a project right here. This is day 13 of my P90X journal, um, if you've been following along on YouTube. So the first thing that we want to do is go up to share, select export media. After we do so, we're going to make sure we're exporting the video and audio. The video codec, we're going to leave at the current settings because we don't want it to compress this video. And we're not going to have it open with anything. So we'll say next. It's going to ask us to name this uh, uh, video and we'll call it P90X Day 13 ProRes. Save it to the desktop. My computer, that's going to take approximately 30 seconds or so. This sequence or this project is uh, about a minute and 50 seconds long. And when it finishes, we're going to open up Compressor and we're going to make a few changes. All right, now that it exported that ProRes file, I'm gonna open up Compressor. And inside a Compressor, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna add that file to Compressor. Click on Add File. And then it's on my desktop. There we go. Day13ProRes.mov. Uh, now we're gonna select a sharing uh, preset. Let's go ahead and use this uh, HD 720 video sharing preset. For now, I'm just going to select the destination to go to my desktop. Now, here's where the important settings come into play. You're going to go up to the menu and select Apple QMaster and select Share This Computer. This brings up a dialog box. You're going to want to make sure that Share This Computer is selected. As a quick cluster with services, what that means is this this computer is set to designate when um, a rendering job is sent and the services uh, setting it as a service node means that it's going to render as well. You're going to want to make sure that compressor is checked right here. And inside your options it allows you to set a certain number of instances depending on how many cores your processors have. I set 12 based on the fact that I have 24 gigabytes of memory. There's a 2 to 1 ratio as you can see. You want to play with this setting. If you set it to the full uh, available maximum based on the amount of RAM that you have, then basically while compressor is running, you're not going to be doing anything else because your computer is going to really, really lag. I've set it at uh, uh, 12 instances as well as 8 instances and only seen a difference of a few seconds in this particular sequence as far as final uh, output render. But again, it was about five seconds faster by setting it at 12. Next, we want to identify this quick cluster. You can put any name here, and this will be used when you submit the batch. Include unmanaged services from other computers. You're going to have this checked because a quick cluster is an unmanaged service. We're going to go ahead and click on OK. You don't need to set up a password, and you also don't want to have this box here checked. This box is for managed clusters, and a quick cluster is not a managed cl uh, cluster, as well as requiring a password. That would delineate who has the ability to send uh, batch jobs to Compressor. You Also, you do not need rendering checked, because rendering is, uh, that's not what we're using this for. So we'll go ahead and click OK. It's, right now, it's because it was already set up as a quick cluster, it's telling me that there may be uh, users connected to the machine, which they're not because this is a virtual cluster. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. It's going to ask me for my user password for my uh, Mac OS X. I'll enter that. Now, if I bring up Activity Monitor, we'll see that I have 12 instances of Compressor here running. That's for each uh, of the instances I set up in the sharing portion. Next, I'll go ahead and name that file, and it automatically named it by the name of the file and extending the name of the preset afterwards. I'll go ahead and sit, click on Submit. Here, under Cluster, we want to make sure that this is set to Mac Pro Cluster or whatever you named it in that sharing dialog. 
if it's set to this computer, it's going to default to using just one, um, one of your uh, CPU cores. We'll go ahead and click on Submit. And as you can see down here, it's submitted the job for processing. We can switch back over to Activity Monitor. And once the job is sent, you'll start seeing all of the cores being utilized. That's how you'll know that this is working. Another important thing to note, I've tested this and it should work the same when you select from Final Cut Pro Send to Compressor. However, when I send to Compressor for some reason, it doesn't utilize all the cores. If anybody has an, uh, un knows why, please leave that information in the comments. I've tried multiple settings so that it would recognize all the cores set up in the compressor settings and uh, it doesn't work that way. So instead you have to export the final uh, Cut Pro's ProRes file uh, from your project and then add it to compressor and then you can submit the batch by selecting the virtual quick cluster that you set up in the sharing dialog in compressor. So we'll go ahead and minimize this for now. Before you set it, before I set up a, a virtual quick cluster, this job would take approximately, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes by utilizing one CPU core. Utilizing 12 instances of the CPU core, this should take less than two and a half minutes. It's also going to convert the 700 and plus megabyte. Let's see how big the progress file is. The ProRes file is 733 uh, megabytes. And we'll see in about two seconds how big the, the new HD720P video sharing setting preset um, is once Compressor is finished with it. I have not sped up the video during this tutorial. This is happening all in real time. And it is complete. So we'll open that up. This is now a 128 uh, megabyte file available for YouTube. We can go ahead and preview it by pressing spacebar on our computer. Skim through. All right, there you go. So by enabling uh, your computer's virtualization of all of its cores as a quick cluster inside of Compressor, you're able to speed up your render times immensely. I've cut my render times uh, by less than 90% uh, of uh, the setting. Again, what you need to do in Compressor is click on Apple Queue Master, share this computer. You're going to want to make sure share this computer is selected as a quick cluster with services. Make sure Compressor is checked. In the options, you're going to set the number of instances based on the number of instances available and the available RAM. So let's say that you show eight total instances available and you have uh, four gigs of RAM. If that's the case, then you would set the number of instances to two because however many gigabytes of RAM you have, divide that in half and that's the highest setting you should set the number of instances to. Now, obviously, you may show uh, more or less instances here. If you show eight instances, for, for example, you work off of eight. If you show 16, you work off 16, et cetera, et cetera. Next, you want to name your quick cluster. Make sure you name it here. Check the include unmanaged services from this computer. Click on OK. Enter your system's password, and you're good to go. Guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Again, thanks for watching the tutorial. Till next time, I'm out.